welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Hannah Moon and thanks for stopping by. I feel like it's been such a long time since I've done one of these tutorial videos, but I wanted to share with you guys my top three ways I use the Dyson Airwrap. I've had my Airwrap for about two years and I love it so much. I use it every single day or at least every time I wash my hair and I need to style it. So I just wanted to show you guys how I style my hair on different days depending on how much time I have, what look I'm going for, and all of that. I also want to thank you for showing me a lot of love on my Dyson Airwrap and Supersonic comparison video. If you haven't watched it, I'll link it somewhere up here. So whether you already own one of these or you're thinking about getting one, especially with the holidays coming up, definitely stay tuned to see how I style my hair. But before I start, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and like this video if you found that helpful. If you're new to my channel, I post a lot of New York City vlogs and tutorials and reviews and all of that so make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications to see when I post my videos and as always if you have any questions leave it in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can okay now let's begin with hairstyle number one the first hairstyle that I'm going to show you guys is called C curl I did a tutorial on this before and I'll put the link on top if you haven't seen that but it's basically a blowout with a nice C-shaped curl at the ends. I love how this accentuates my layers and it's perfect for whether you have short to medium hair or long hair like I do. This process takes me about 15 minutes to do so let's get right into it. So right now my hair is dry and unstyled but you can definitely start with damp hair which is one of the perks of using the air wrap. First thing I do is I use a smoothing brush nozzle to straighten up my hair of any frizz before I start styling it. I'm going to set it at the highest heat and air and I use the setting for mostly everything except when I touch up my roots which I'll get to more in a bit. As you can see here, I'm just going to brush this all around my hair and this is just going to remove any frizz and kind of straighten it out and just give me a smooth palette to work on. So for this look, I used a round barrel nozzle and I'm going to start by clipping up half of my hair so that it's easier to work with. And also make sure to set the air wrap to the highest heat and air setting. Then I'm going to start with about an inch or two of hair on one side. I'm going to position the air wrap at the base of my head and as you turn it on, just start brushing it from the inside. And then from the top, I'm going to flip my hair around the barrel and just pull through in a rotating motion. You can hold the tip of the barrel for easy grip and just pull all the way down to the bottom until just your ends are wrapped around. After about 5 seconds of heat, I'm going to perform the cool shot and hold it for about 5 more seconds to really seal in that curl. Then once that's done, you're going to pull the comb out and you'll be left with a nice C curl at the ends. I'm basically just going to repeat this all around the bottom half of my hair. When you do this, just make sure you have some tension when pulling down because that's really going to help straighten the top portion and just leave the curl for the ends. I just love how the air wrap makes this process so much easier than if I were to use a comb and a dryer separately. And the tip of the barrel doesn't get hot either, so it's really going to help when pulling the comb down. After you finish the bottom half, let down the top half and just do the same. I'm just going to leave my bangs off because I style it a little bit differently than the rest of my hair, so I'm just going to save that for later. So you just continue to do the same technique all throughout your hair and clipping my hair into two sections like this also helps me because the top half of my hair has shorter layers than the bottom half. It honestly kind of makes the process faster as well. After I complete my whole head, I'm going to style my bangs and in order to get that curtain bang look, I'm going to wrap my hair away from my face at the top and just pull it back to have that same tension. And I'm going to hold at the end to get that nice curl perform the cool shot, and then just pull out the comb. I love how this just shapes my face and blends it in with the rest of the hair. So that was the first hairstyle. You can literally achieve a nice blowout at home using these air wrap tools. And I just love the sophisticated and classy look this gives while giving some volume to my hair. Okay, so on to the next hairstyle. I call this the lazy waves. This technique only takes about 5 to 10 minutes to do and it's honestly the quickest way to achieve loose curls. I love how it gives a nice wave to the ends and looks very natural and honestly, I do this hairstyle so often on the days I go into work or when I'm running late. So before I start styling it, I also take the smoothing nozzle to brush out my whole head to remove any frizz. I'm not going to clip my hair up for this, but I'm just going to split it roughly into two sections. 
And for this look, I'm going to take the bigger curling barrels and set my air up at the highest heat and air setting. You want to use the ones that curl in an outward direction, so make sure the arrows point away from your face. Then I'm going to grab half of the section that I just divided, so it's basically a quarter of your whole head. Then all I'm going to do is position the air up at the ends, turn it on, and start twirling in an outward direction. I literally just keep twirling and twirling for about a minute, and what this does is as you twirl it, different parts of that section of hair gets sucked into the barrel, and it just gets curled along the way. After about a minute of doing this, just turn it off, and you'll be left with these really nice waves like you see here. And then you can just move on to the second section and repeat this for a minute. I usually don't end this with the cool shot, I just use the heat all throughout. After you finish one side, just move on to the other side, but make sure you switch out the barrel to the other direction. Then you're just going to repeat and do the same thing. I'm also going to use these barrels to shape my bangs. I just put the barrel at the end of my hair and let it stick so that only the tip gets a nice curl. And after a few seconds of heat, I'm going to do a little bit of cool shots and then let go. You can see that this just connects my bangs nicely to the rest of my hair and this is another way I like to achieve the curtain bang look. Okay, so last step, to give some volume to my roots, I recently saw a hairstylist from Korea on YouTube use this technique, so I've been trying it out. You're just gonna attach the smoothing nozzle and set the air to the lowest. You can keep the heat on high, and then you're basically gonna put it at your hairline and move it up and down so the comb catches some of the hair at the roots. After that, I just turn it off, lift the comb about 2 centimeters, and let it cool for 5 seconds. Then, you just brush it forward and sweep your hair back. Sometimes you need to do this a couple times because as you can see, one side of my hair has more volume than the other. So I'm just going to do the same thing one more time, just brush it back and forth, turn it off, lift it up slightly, and pull it forward. You can see now that the volume is pretty much even on both sides. And like I said, this is one of my favorite ways to use my air wrap because of how quick and easy it is. It creates these beautiful loose waves and give a natural looking curl without much effort. With the air wrap, I really feel like my hair isn't getting damaged compared to using a traditional iron, which is always a plus for me since I color my hair. Okay, so the last look is called Big Bouncy Curls. And I love doing this hairstyle when I want my hair to have these nice big curls that last for days. It's quite similar to how I would curl with a traditional curling iron. And with the air wrap, it takes me about 20 minutes to do. Even though it takes a bit of time, it's so worth it because even with second or third day hair, most of the curls still stay intact or just need minimal touching up. So I'm going to start by sectioning my hair and just clipping the top half up. We're going to use the wide barrels here as well because I like the bigger curls for my longer hair. Now with these barrels that come with the air wrap, you can't grab too much hair because then some of the strands will fall out and you won't get a full curl. So I start from the front with about an inch of hair and I'm going to position the barrel so that it's at the end of that section and just turn it on. Your hair is going to kind of stick to the barrel and all you need to do is roll it up closer to the base of your head. You can move it up and down to make sure all the strands are sucked in and then I let it sit at the base of my head for about three to five seconds just kind of feel out the heat and then once it gets hot enough I turn on the cool shot for about three seconds and then release you're gonna end up with a nice defined curl like this I just repeat that for one side of the bottom half of my hair and I just really like how you just let the air wrap do all the work while you're basically just holding it after you're done with the bottom portion just unclip the top and repeat I'm just going to leave off my bangs and save them to do later. So to get those curtain bangs, I'll go in and curl it away from my face using the barrels. It's the same way we did for the lazy waves look. Now my hair is very bouncy and voluminous with the curls, but I want to make sure my roots have some volume as well. So I'm going to switch out to the smaller barrels here and use the same outward direction for each side. I'm going to pick up a little bit of hair at the roots. Place a skinnier barrel underneath. I'm going to turn on the heat and let it get a little bit hot and then I'll end it with a quick cool shot. After you take it out, you're left with a nice subtle lift at the roots. Just repeat the same on the other side after you switch out the barrel direction. To seal everything in, I'm going to apply some hair serum and this one is one of my favorites from Briogeo. I find that using the product makes my curls last longer throughout the day as well. 
And there we have our big bouncy curls. I love this look so much and this will definitely be my go-to hairstyle for some of the holiday events I have coming up. I also love how the curls look with my layers and it just gives it a nice shape from the back. You can see it's much more defined than the lazy waves look that I did. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison. The lazy waves are definitely more everyday and casual and with the bouncy curls, you can easily go for a glam look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found that helpful. I'm definitely always trying to find new ways to use my air wrap and I just love how you can use the different nozzles to create different hairstyles. So if you're still thinking about getting one, I personally would say get it because I just love mine so much. So that's a wrap for today and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see more of my videos and I'll catch you guys in my next one.